Blue Matter's large-scale video piece, and it's screened or projected onto two layers, or three layers, basically. Two layers of black voil and a white screen at the background. So it has this kind of strange and eerie spatial effect of, of kind of falling into a kind of world of being mesmerized, which is something I really like about work, and, and it's kind of slowly dissolves between one scene and the other. Most of it's hand-drawn. It includes a few photographs that I took um, where I live in Winchester and as the surrounding areas there's a lot of mistletoe and I, I kind of thought they were analogous to this kind of epileptic centre, this focal epilepsy in the, in the brain and they, they, they reminded me of a kind of something going awry and I kind of like that so I, I used those as a, as a kind of metaphor through the, through the video of it being controlled or contained but yet difficult to contain. The piece behind, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's about this kind of a adventure into our own brains in a way and a reflection on that and a space about us not really knowing. Each of the trees is kind of isolated from the others and they float around in the space. And it seems to be a kind of, kind of, a kind of metaphor for the science really. We, we don't know a lot, we don't know about the connections, we know bits, but the totality we don't understand. So it had that kind of I suppose a mesmerizing feel to it of, of not understanding but, but being in another world which I think our brains are they're another world that we really don't know and so most of our activity is unconscious we never know about it all of the control of our bodies all of this control the, the stuff that comes into conscious seems to me to be a very small window that we have and in a way it's it's kind of analogous to another aspect that I'm really interested in um, scientists, in a way, never have a way of getting in our brains. They, they, we haven't fully conquered that. And one of the ways that we do have of envisaging the brain or what we're like or how we think and how we associate things is through artistic practice. We can make pictures of that that we see and that we might understand. And I think that's a kind of a really interesting aspect of the work. Storm Level is, a, 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 again, a piece that's come out of these kind of modular units. I, I, I bought all of this sets of kind of devices and things that I was going to work with, and I was quite interested in this kind of, again, notion of level, of coming back to normal. But every so often, also, a, a, a fan and a soundtrack disrupt the situation, and the fan blows onto the voils and disrupts and puts into a wave the, the normal level of the lasers and it's, and it's that and then when it's, the fan goes off it quietens down and goes back to level so I quite like that kind of interaction and in the space nobody knows quite where the sensors are that switch things on and off so there's a sense of kind of mystery about kind of understanding that relationship to the sensor that will be in people's brains of not really understanding what goes on and when it goes on because the algorithm is set by a um, group of scientists outside them and I'm kind of interested in that whole di kind of dilemma or, or point of interest. A lot of the work came around by kind of haphazard nature of the studio and what was going on in there and lots of things being around and just trying things out. So one of the things I had from other kinds of set of work that I'd been doing around an immunology project was a whole lot of stencils of the human figure cut out, quite large, you know, almost two thirds life size. And I was also playing with lots of strings of LED lights and one day I just kind of thought, oh, I wonder what the LED lights look like behind uh, the stencil card. I've then made these tubes with these um, cut-out figures. There's, there's three of them. One of them kind of represents the kind of normal, stable nervous system. Another is like an electrical storm. It's very zigzaggy and the nervous system is broken up. And the third one is almost where the optrodes are in the body and cover the body. The, the device that will control, hopefully, the cells around the epileptic focal point and, and bring it back to normal. So it's this kind of, again, bringing back to normal or showing those different states in a way.